I think Lloyd Mesita, speaking to you from LloydMesita.com, who's Lloyd Mesita and Think Personal Branding. I thought I'd share with you my views on, uh, you know, marriage, the responsibilities of marriage, the um, the part that nobody talks about, you know, in terms of marriage or relationships. Now, if you actually look at most of the relationships that that are shown online, that are shown on video or media, it's always this romantic, oh, hug you, kiss you, love you, Janu, I can't live without you, you're my... Uh, you're my everything and you put these romantic pictures and romantic videos and romantic updates and you show yourself kissing each, uh, kissing each other your cheeks are like this and you're hugging each other and you're holding each other and you're putting all this uh, you know mother's day father's day i love you and you know all this drama however i want to highlight the part that is not shown on media is not talked about for instance one of the pivotal points which I've realized in a relationship is every day is a new day. Every day you got to prove yourself to your partner. Like in my case, every day I, I get up, I, I have to think about money. And I'll tell you, money is such an important point in a relationship that people don't think about, they don't talk about. Let's say, for example, I have to buy groceries. I have to... Uh, find out what my child wants even if my child doesn't ask let, let's say for example the other day I just woke up and I saw my baby you know just quiet and something didn't feel right and then I checked her hands and I checked her legs I was checking whether she had fever and I found mosquito bites and then I realized that my baby has been getting bit by mosquitoes and that's why she has been upset and crying immediately without you know a second's notice I went off with my scooter and you know you need to understand I stay on a small island an island uh, far away from the mainland so I went to a couple of pharmacies I went to a couple of shops I bought this you know this mosquito repellent uh, where you can put the mat in India you get this you know it's like a kind of heating machine where you put um, a mat to prevent mosquitoes from coming then I, I purchased another one where you put a um, uh, you know it's it's like liquid in a socket and it you know the fumes drive away mosquitoes then I bought this lotion for my baby which is non-toxic then I also purchased uh, you know incense which is not allergic to my child and then I decided uh, I need to also be careful uh, in terms of um, you know insects uh, which may not be healthy uh, you know so I bought debt all I bought uh, you know, flow cleaners, I, I bought stuff for the house because obviously we have dogs. I, you know, kind of made a plan that they should be vaccinated and taken care of. And, um, you know, where they poo and piss, that area is taken care of with uh, chemicals so that we don't get germs coming there. So this took nearly half a day. And um, I just made sure that the baby, the area that she's sleeping is pretty okay and comfortable. So that's what we did. Uh, me and my wifey and just made sure everything is perfect then with regards to my wifey I you know every day I ask her what does she want to eat what does she want to drink um, if she's bored of a certain meal I drive down even if I have to go a little far to buy something for her today now obviously you'll say that isn't this your duty aren't you supposed to do this but here's the thing we don't talk about this we don't realize this we take things for granted and when you have to do it every single day you kind of realize that this is your responsibility now i need to save money for my child's future every single day put a little bit of money there we save you know notes coins whatever and this is put into the child's account i keep saving money for my wife's account for her business she has one for a business one for a personal account, one insurance if something happens to me. And uh, every day that I get up, I, I ask myself, if, if I were to die, how is she going to manage? Like, what is she going to do with this computer, with this system set up, with this lighting, with these books? So there are so many things I need to think about. And this uh, has happened only after being a father, only after being a husband, a real husband who loves his wife. 
I have to think about the fact that I'm 41. My wife is 25. Obviously, I'm going to die before her. How is she going to manage? I need to plan out my finances. I need to plan out my expenses. Every day is a challenge. You know, you keep thinking about if the child grows up, um, which school is she going to study? Which environment is she going to mix around? How is she going to, uh, you know, interact with the environment that is there, the boys, the girls? You know, I see so many girls just hanging around with these boys and smoking and drinking and, you know, smooching and kissing each other in corners. And I keep thinking, you know, I have a daughter and if she gets into this company, you know, what do I do? Obviously, my child is not going to be in front of me 24-7. So what's next? Um, if I die, who's there for her? So these are the things we don't think about. And I'll tell you, these are the things which are not romantic. They're not mentioned on social media. They're not. I don't show these things online. I don't mention them that, oh, I purchased this for my baby. I, you know, uh, like even the vaccination. I, uh, For example, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a small thing. When, you know, sometimes I really, the, the baby drives me fucking mad. It's like she's crying 24-7. She's just crying. She's not sleeping. At some point, it drives your fucking head in. And it's like crying, crying, crying. You just can't think. You can't sleep. You can't do your work. You can't focus on anything. You have to be sitting next to the baby. Sometimes you just feel like you're killing the baby. It's like it drives you mad. But you can't do anything because the baby is a small little child. You know, it's... I'll tell you this. This actually happened. Uh, my the other day, I woke up with a heavy head. I just woke up in the morning. I had this heavy head, and my wife also. I I went outside, and my wife was also upset. And I I just woke up. I was like, "What happened?" And she told me I didn't sleep full night. Baby was crying. That and we just saw the baby, and the baby wasn't crying now, and she didn't sleep, and obviously I didn't sleep. Just woke up with a heavy head and, you know, I wanted to have my caffeine in the morning. And then uh, we saw the baby lying down. The baby was not smiling much. And so, you know, I'll tell you, I just took the baby. I said, you sometimes drive me crazy. You know, I, I just hate it. You drive me crazy. And, you know, you just, uh, I sometimes wonder like, ah, you know. So I spoke to my own baby as I was holding it. And I'll tell you, I just said that, uh, you know, I just hate it. I just, sometimes I can't stand you. I hate you, you know. And I'll tell you, my baby looked at me. Our eyes met. And then all of a sudden, this actually happened. Huh? I'm not even exaggerating. My baby, her lip, she did, she did this. Her eyes just, you know, as if she was going to cry. And I'll tell you, from my baby's eyes, one tear came out and another tear came out and she didn't, she was not crying. She didn't like wail and scream. She was just doing this. And as soon as I saw that, I'll tell you, my heart just, you know, sunk, you know, it just, I just you know, stopped. I was like, oh shit, you know, my baby can understand the fact that I'm upset with her. And I don't want my baby to feel that I don't love my baby, you know. And I was like, oh, it's okay. So, um, you know, I, I just said, no, baby, I love you. I understand. You know, the tears were just streaming out. And you could feel that she was, she was going this way. And then my wife saw and she was like, oh, we love you. And we are hugging. And then the baby just burst out crying. And she was crying as if someone actually beat her. And we're just holding the baby, me and my wife. You know, my wife had tears in her eyes. I had tears in my eyes. And that was a very powerful moment, you know. It's it's like, even though this baby is four months, it's like the baby understands. It's like the baby feels. And um, that made me realize how, how deep, how powerful, how, you know, how serious my role as a father is where even the words have to be measured. You know, 
I don't know if this child can actually feel or hear what I'm, but I'm assuming that the child can. And I want the child to feel love, you know. And it really makes you realize how deep, how important and how powerful your role as a parent is. So what I'm trying to tell you is these are the things you don't see here or share on social media. And it's not all that romantic. There are tough times. There are challenging times. You know, I'll tell you, not a day goes by where I don't think about my family, my role as a father, as a husband, and about my child. Um, the fear something may happen. Uh, what's next? What do I do? You know, obviously, I don't have a citizenship in Thailand. What do I do if tomorrow I'm asked to leave? Um, how will my family manage? What about the money? So many things, you know. So I just thought I'd share these these aspects with you about life, uh, which we don't talk about on social media, which people don't discuss, and which is not romantic, which is not fun. But this is the reality of what life is. Um, it's not just all the fun, fun things. It's not just the uh, exciting things, you know. There's so much more to life than all this. So these are my thoughts, which I thought I'd share with you. Let me know what do you think in the comment section below. You know, I always, I always uh, read your comments. Uh, so uh, like the video, you know, thumbs up. Don't like the video, thumbs down. Um, this is me signing off for now. Take care.